Prince William avoids yet another major royal event as Prince Harry goes it alone. Prince William and Prince Harry seem to have remained apart despite their reunion at their uncle Sir Robert Fellow's burial ceremony on Thursday, since they intend to avoid their other in New York later this month. The Sunday Express has heard that despite a high-profile event being organized to commemorate the passing of their mother, the late Princess Diana, Prince William and Prince Harry will not meet in person in the Big Apple. Later this month, Prince Harry, 39, is scheduled to attend the Diana Award ceremony alone. Welcome to Royal Pancakes. If you are new here, please don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell, so you don't miss any news about the British monarchy. The Duke is coming to Manhattan in order to further his charitable endeavors and patronages. His travel is scheduled to occur during Climate Week, which takes place from September 22nd to September 29th, and UN General Assembly High Level Week. The 42-year-old Prince of Wales has chosen not to attend the Earthshot Innovation Summit, which is set to take place at the Plaza Hotel in Manhattan on September 24, avoiding an event that would have required him to be in the city at the same time. Instead, he will probably send a video greeting. The insider remarked, it's unfortunate that the brothers can't put things behind them for an event honoring their mother. However, it appears that William already has other commitments for this month, so it doesn't appear that he will be visiting New York. In celebration of their 25th anniversary, the Diana Award declared that they were delighted to be leading an event with Prince Harry in New York. The Diana Award posted a picture of Harry on X with the caption, the event will be driven by young people and their ideas on the key issues affecting their generation today, crediting its CEO, Dr. Tessie Ojo. In honor of Princess Diana, who passed away on August 31, 1997, at the age of 36, the Diana Award was instituted with the goal of enabling youth to effect change. Both brothers endorse its efforts and made separate appearances at the Legacy Awards ceremony in London in March, William physically there, Harry digitally. On Thursday, Harry and William went to a memorial ceremony for Lord Robert Fellows, the late brother-in-law of their mother. Flying from his U.S. residence, Prince Harry went to St. Mary's Church in Snettisham to be with his brother. The memorial service was held in the vicinity of Norfolk's Sandringham Estate, home to the royal family. Their combined attendance follows earlier confirmation by people close to the Duke that he would skip the event due to concerns over UK security. A source verified that the brothers remained silent during the service even though they were in the same room. The report claimed that both Harry and William were present for the memorial. They didn't seem to talk to each other during the service, they sat apart. Tensions with the Prince and Princess of Wales have been worse over the past year, despite Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's long-running animosity with the royal family. Meghan was quickly introduced to her future husband's family, which included his brother and sister-in-law, when they first met in July 2016. Meghan is reported to have been amazed upon receiving an invitation to William and Kate's former residence at Kensington Palace before hostilities erupted. Harry had already mentioned this incident in his shocking autobiography, Spare. Meghan was taken away by Kate and William's flat after visiting their house, which Harry claims happened in June 2018. Meghan also believed that Harry deserved more materially as a member of the royal family. Harry wrote, We walked over one late afternoon, remembering the visit. As we moved through their front living area, down their hallway, and into their study, I noticed that Meg's eyes widened. Wow! Meg exclaimed multiple times. Royal author Robert Jobson said of the Princess of Wales in his book, it is understood that Meghan had been taken aback at the disparity between the brothers when she and Harry had gone round to have drinks at William and Catherine's apartment, while they were still living at Nottingham Cottage opposite. Shortly after declaring that they will be leaving their position as senior working royals in 2020, the Duke and Duchess relocated to the United States with their son, Prince Archie. In March 2021, Tensions escalated further when Meghan and Harry participated in an all-access interview with Oprah Winfrey. 
During the conversation, the couple talked about their personal experiences at the firm, Harry's relationship with his father, and Meghan's issues with mental health. Princess Diana, a credited access exhibition opened in London on May 25. While it is portrayed as a touching homage to the beloved late royal, it is painfully clear that Prince Harry and Prince William are at odds. I was invited to the exhibition's press conference on May 23. There was one thing I witnessed there that gave me hope for a future royal reunion between Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. World-renowned royal photographers Anwar Hussain and his two sons, Samir and Zak, will be able to display their own photos of the beloved late royal for the first time in the UK. It offers viewers a peek into her life as a princess by showcasing some of the most iconic pictures ever taken. Along with pictures of Diana as a shy adolescent, fashion icon, loving mother, and ardent humanitarian, the couple also features unique pictures of her sons, Prince William and Prince Harry, along with their respective families. While Prince William and Princess Kate are undoubtedly two of the most well-liked members of the royal family, Diana's youngest son and his spouse also receive equal focus in the exhibition. Even though the brothers haven't been senior royals for more than four years, the show tends to ignore their ongoing rivalry and highlight their shared trait as Diana's favorite boys. The affection Diana had for each of her sons is masterfully depicted in the presentation. In addition to showcasing Diana's role as a royal, the value of family is heavily emphasized, which may pave the way for Harry and William's potential future reconciliation. The late royal's life is divided into several phases, yet it never seems to show her time with William without Harry, or vice versa. Currently, the Wales family divides their time between Anmer Hall, their rural house on the King's Sandringham estate in Norfolk, and Adelaide Cottage in Windsor. However, Tamnar Gar, a place Princess Kate and Prince William frequently frequented when courting, brings back very pleasant memories for them. After meeting as St. Andrew's students in the early 2000s, Prince William and Princess Kate enjoyed many private moments together at Tamnar Gar, away from prying eyes. The young couple would go to the cottage to spend time in the country away from the cameras during their breaks from university. Princess Kate was brought to Tamnagar during their early courtship, although her official visit to Balmoral for the much-discussed Balmoral test, did not occur until 2009. The couple got engaged shortly after, indicating that the princess clearly passed the test. The three-bedroom home is the ideal place to enjoy peace and quiet because it is tucked away on the 50,000-acre Balmoral estate and surrounded by vegetation. The King and Queen currently dwell at King Charles's Burke Hall, a summer palace situated along the River Mick, which is also near to the property. The Prince of Wales said to Country Life in 2018 that there is nowhere I feel more comfortable, invigorated, and at ease than the British countryside. The countryside and Scotland both have a special place in his heart. Of course, Scotland holds a special place in my heart due to my family's strong ties there, and it was a wonderful part of my early years and upbringing.